If you're like me, you've been waiting a long time for the next stage of a battle simulator. We haven't seen a good one in a while, and finally somebody's done it. This is Despot's game. Now, essentially, what we're gonna have to do is navigate through a dungeon and survive while building up our army and customizing them to make them better able to survive each new room. This is a roguelite evolution of a battle simulator. So what you're gonna see today is us trying to get through the gauntlet. Now I wanna say a big shout out and thank you to Despot's Game for sponsoring today's video. You can find out more about the game and check it out for yourself using the link in the description. Let's get into the action. So check this out. You can do normal difficulty or easy, but you have to lose three times. So, oh man, there's so many little mutators. But what we're gonna be doing is classic mode. So essentially, look at this. I've got these four little red dudes. One's got a shield, one's got a knife, one's got a crossbow, and one's just a plain old, plain old dude. Now, looking at the map, we're starting here, and it looks like we can only go up. Now, every time we go to a new room, we use a little bit of food. This game mechanically was very, very well thought out. But remember, this is a roguelite, so prepare to die and die often, right? That's what they say. So in our first room, it looks like we're fighting against three like whirly blade bots. We've successfully defeated them and as a result, we've got this little currency in the upper left, our tokens. We could use those to buy stuff. Oh my God, what is this? A spirit mask? <laughs> you can get a periodic table which actually boosts these people's health considerably. Plus 390 health. A first aid kit and then we can buy more guys. So now this guy is a spirit dude. Now, I'm assuming he's some kind of a caster, so we wouldn't want to put him on the front lines now, would we? But we're out of money right now, so let's actually just buy two more newbies. Now, one of the other cool things you can do is put one of your newbies into the sacrificial pit, and then you get more food. It's messed up, but really, that's just the way it's going right now. So, there's a little bit of an arrow thing if we go to the left room, and it looks like maybe a food shop if we go up. So, I'm thinking we're going to go to the left room, fight in this battle... Hopefully win it. Now we want our newbies over here. We want them to survive. Now there's one... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, gosh. I thought I... I thought I committed Sudoku right there. So this giant skull indicates that we're probably gonna be fighting a big enemy this game. We've got two newbies. One tank. One fencer. One shooter. And one cultist. So now we... Click the fight button. Oh, and look, it's a giant mech with like, he's kind of like a scorpion shooting this big blue plasma ball out of his tail. Ooh, he stunned our guys and now he's going after my crossbowman. We did manage to defeat him though. And now we're gonna get something called, I believe this is gonna be a mutation. So these are the mutations, but let's go ahead and up it. All ability cooldowns are 1.11 times lower. Fantastic. And we could buy the newbies class receive plus 15 to armor. That would make them survive a bit more. All units receive more mana. Restocking the shop is one token cheaper. That would be pretty interesting. But I think at the moment, we're gonna go up one. Uh, it looks like this one is a battle. Three smaller enemies this time. All right, newbies, you are on the rightward flank. Prepare to fight. So I, I just love this game because I love battle simulators. There's just something about them that captivates me, right? But there just hasn't been anybody that's kind of evolved on the formula for quite a long time. Just a sword. So this is where we can, let's buy, we have 19, so I wanna buy one and then buy the sword and give it to them. I can give it to either one of my newbies. So now we have two fencer classes. Cart full of secrets. That's decent amount, but we're gonna do it. What's a cart full of secrets? Oh, he looks like a scientist carting around. Is this a Tesla coil? It kind of looks like a little bit of a Tesla coil on a cart. Okay, so we got $7 left. Uh, we could upgrade the shop for four tokens. We could re-roll. We've got $7. We got a decent amount of food. Oh, shoot. That looks like a boss over there. Let's go to the food store. I don't think we're ready to fight a boss just yet. But in order to, well, gain access to the food store here, we're going to have to fight it. And in order to leave the room, you'll notice that these two doors are now blocked off. So it's like, you got to be very careful when making your decisions. Okay. I think our formation looks pretty good. There's two medium-sized enemies. Oh, these are the two guys we fought at the beginning. This is a piece of cake. 
That is a fantastic fight. Now I'm thinking buy 11 food for three tokens or seven food for two tokens. We're gonna do this one. The economics just makes sense. Actually, we're gonna buy all of the food. So at this point, let's go down. I don't think we're ready to fight the end boss. You know what I mean? That's kind of scary. Now look at the food going down every time we leave a room. However, looks like maybe that's what we have to do is fight this boss. That's where, like these are procedurally generated, right? So we have to go this way? And we're running out of food anyway, just through this exploration process. Oh man, there's a giant trap door there. Okay, well, it is what it is, boys. Let's see if we can't pull off a victory here against another giant mech, which looks like he has a fire beam laser. That doesn't bode well for my guys. We probably should have spread out our casters, but once we're in the middle of the battle here, it doesn't look like we're able to control them. We've already lost one guy, one of our frontline fencers. How's this guy doing? He's just, okay, he just died. But look at what it cost us. So now what we can do is go down. It looks like these are a bunch of hamster tubes, which are gonna lead us to another area. So onward and upward, we need food. We need a little bit of everything. Shrooms! So this is part of the roguelite experience, right? We have a random event. Shrooms, the human find a mycelium of mushrooms growing mysteriously. You could harvest them and temper several times, getting normal safe food out of it. But who would take the boring option? Oh, well, that's our only option, so I'll do it. Oh my God, thank you for the food. I was really, really worried. Now we're able to use our 24 tokens on building up our army. It looks like we're gonna have a Harkibus. What is that? You don't have one like that. No, okay, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Also buy a naked newbie human. Now give the Harkibus to him. Okay, there's now a blue dot next to the shooter class icon. It indicates that you've granted them a class ability level. Oh, sweet. Okay, so if we get one more newbie, we're gonna unlock the next evolution, let's do it, okay. This is a Harkibus, and this is a Nano Lance. Oh wait, we may not be able to, I think it has to be three different ones. Now as a result, we've got a lot of range guys. We've got a shield here, so we're gonna need at least one more guy. We'll give him the shield, so we got a frontline melee troop. And then if we got six, let's just go ahead and buy him. We're gonna buy three newbies. And remember, if we need to, we can always, you know, make them as food. So now that we're on a new level, we can either go down, which looks like maybe a random event, or this one is another room. Let's go here, to the left. Okay, this should be easy. Let's go ahead and fight it, I kinda like my formation. Oh, they got like two of these little dark wizards. And look, we can actually make our guy a dark wizard by giving him a dark mantle. Ooh, a charmed ring, a heavy ball, and a dark mantle. We can buy, I kinda want the dark mantle, but we could buy both of these with our $14, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna upgrade these newbies. Now, what happens if I give them a ring? Oh, he's hovering now. Okay, so he's got psychic abilities. I'm gonna assume that he's also a ranged unit. So our frontline troops are not that high. While this guy's wearing armor, he has 180 health, so he'll have to do. If you look in the bottom middle, you can see their stats, their health, their mana, and then all of their like attack and defensive stats. Okay, well, I guess we'll go down and then uh, the room we started at, and then we'll go to the event. Those are the only four rooms on this level on level two. Oh my god, it's a giant pit. That's just a bunch of random text. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Oh my god, we're gonna have to fight. Bring me five pink. Soft, gentle, defenseless. Oh my gosh, five newbies. Oh god, I don't think we can buy any newbies. I've got, how do we do this? Oh good, okay, there's a room down here. I'm actually gonna move this guy to the, the back. All right, ring. Now, what I need to do after this battle is buy five newbies to make the pit sacrifice. This should be an easy battle. Look at that, so much ranged fire against two basic fencers. Now, there's nothing we can do on this level, unfortunately. We can't buy anything. We gotta get our newbies, and we're running out a lot of food here. Newbies are gonna cost a lot of food. Okay, there's a food shop below me. We need to get some money. And we get more tokens for every successful battle. We lost one newbie there. We're at 15. There's a boss and then there's the food shop. Ah, I need to get newbies. How does one get more newbies? All right, three more fencers. Let's hope the shield guy holds. He died. I mean, of course he did. This is a teleporter room. Okay, that's really cool. All right, uh, we're not very good on food. 11 food. That should keep us good for a while. We need to build up our army. But this is definitely one of those games where like, because it's a roguelike, it's got an intense amount of replayability to it. 
All right, football guy, you gotta you gotta be the frontline troop here. Oh, two guys in black cloaks. They should go down super easy to ranged fire. However, we did lose our frontline soldier. All right, I need five newbies, right? One, two, three, four, five. I I just gotta see what happens. Now we're gonna keep the rest of our currency and actually probably, you know what? We'll get six just for good measure. Food shop still unlock. We will buy some just to get us up to this room. I don't know what this is. I've never seen this before. I've never done it. Like I'm very terrified and excited at the same time. All right, yeah, they used up most of our food just to get here. So what happens? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Jump into the pit. <laughs> okay, seems like this thing enthralled the newbies. All right, let us not interfere. I'm sorry, guys. I shall impart my wisdom upon you. Oh God, that I don't know, man. You jump into a mysterious pit. Ugh. What happens? Oh, we made the sacrifice. I was kind of expecting like a giant worm. We got a mutation. Newbies assemble into giant mega newbie. Its power depends on their number and stats. Oh my God, that's so cool. Now newbies, it seems like the RNG of this run through is kind of directing me to really going on a newbie strategy. So this one here, newbie class receives plus 15 armor. Sounds intriguing to me. Now what we gotta do is get to this food store without starving. And we've only got $10. Oh, we're gonna start starving. I mean, I guess we could sacrifice one of our newbies, right? No, we're going for it. <laughs> Ooh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, we'll buy all the food we can. Now there's, a, it looks like there's a battle over here. All right, three guys. If they're ranged units, I think, okay, good. I think we're pretty good. We'll probably, yeah, we'll lose one guy, maybe two. But I'd say that was successful. I would definitely say that's successful. Okay. I want to see what happens when we buy one, two, three, four. We've got 10 guys, so that means we're going to be using, what, 10 per room? But we can always just like, we're right next to the food shop too. But is it the same amount of food we've been seeing? Let's find out. Like, will it resupply itself? Oh my God. It's only one sweet roll for nine tokens and we don't have any more. All right, let's go fight the boss. It's time. I want to see what happens. One for all when all of the newbies join up. Uh, <laughs> to make a mega newbie. <laughs> all right, mega newbies to the front and uh, go out there, give it 110%. Hope you play good. Hope the Dean plays good. <laughs> we got a mega newbie. No freaking way. All right, he's actually distracting this boss unit. Now, all the mega newbies or all the newbies died. Oh, God, this guy is just destroying us. And we have failed in our mission here, but just like the point of the game, the whole loop, the whole gameplay loop is to take your knocks, learn your lessons and make better decisions in the next run. So now it is time to do just that. And we've unlocked a new cool thing, which is looks like splash damage. Now, see, and look, we learned something new. Now teleporter rooms are marked with blue corners on the map. So we're gonna start over. Look at that, you start with your default group of guys. The map says we gotta go up, so we're gonna go up. We got 40 food, one food per unit. All right, this is gonna be, let's go. Let's go! All right, that's one down. And it looks like, yeah, oh, there goes our newbie. All right, there's a food shop to my left. And then what's that? Is that a teleporter room poten potentially? Nano Lance, we haven't done that yet. So we're gonna go buy one of these. So you have a giant spear, oh my God. Could we make a phalanx formation out of these guys? In theory, yes. I'm gonna buy a couple newbies. And by a couple, I mean a lot. All right, let's go fight a battle, win some food. Despot was here. This is Despot's game, after all. Okay, fight. Yeah, I don't want newbies going up against these giant razor blades like right away. Boom, that worked brilliantly. Okay, so seven times three, 21. Okay, it's about, this is 22. Oh, oh that's all I could do. All right, good amount of food. Our army is large and in charge. Fight, more spinning blades. See, this is kind of like each room, the RNG of it, you don't really know what you're gonna fight until you get in there. Now, since I do have a ton of newbies, I'm definitely thinking we want another shield and I've got 10 resources so I could buy a shield and a harkibus. I'm thinking that's the way to go. Shield to the front, harkibus to the rear. Look at that. And then the two noobs. All right, ooh, bosses to the left. We're going to the right. We're, I, I don't think we're ready just yet. Oh, this is one giant unit. Oh, I think it's gonna be another one of those mechs. Okay, it's the uh, scorpion kind of mech. 
Who is that that just died? I think it was a fencer. Valor, if there are more opponents than humans, each human gets plus 10 armor per each extra opponent. Okay, that's a cool one, but it's kind of, since our army is so large and in charge right now, I doubt that's gonna help us. All right. Well, I think it might be time to fight the boss section of this first level in our second run through. Yeah, this guy's got the fire beam, right? The shields should be able to tank a decent amount, but look at them just burning, man. And then this guy's health, it's going down. Now, we lost one unit. Let's see if any fire residually kills the rest of them. And it looks like we've got the hamster tube, so we can move on to level two. All right, we got 25. Ooh, Winchester. Okay, random event. Going to a new level. We get it. Humans come across an odd zombie. He doesn't try to attack. Instead, he keeps playing an old console. Clanking his chain, someone even made him a cozy lair. Yes. All right, if I was a zombie, we're gonna feed him brains. Oh, okay. Well, we, we killed him and we got some uh, XP there. We definitely need more shields. Oh, this is that Tesla coil thing. Okay, I'm really liking this. We're, we're kind of making... A shield wall right here. How are we doing on food? Okay, there's a food store right next to us. We're fine. But we do need to save some money for it. Maybe, I'm thinking six tokens. I'm gonna get this guy. Nine, that would only give me four tokens. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. We weren't able to get the magic cart, which... Magic carp? All right, to win the food store, we have to fight. Oh, three fencers, but luckily the shield guys seem to counter that real good. All right. Sweet roll, 35 food for nine tokens, yeah. I think there's economies of scale in this, right? But it seems like food is the bane of our existence, man. All right, so we've got two options, go up or to the right, we're gonna go up. Do I know what's in the room? No, other than an event battle, more than likely. Two of these dudes, oh, they just wiped out my shield boy. All right, I need something that boosts my health. One plus 110 health, plus 150 health. Oh, look at that. We. The guy died, but we got the shield back. That's good. All right, now we got a fencer. We got three shields again. Um, We do have to go down 17 gold. I'm gonna get another football guy. They seem to be tanky enough. I've never re-rolled or upgraded yet. At some point, we will have to experiment with trying that out. All right, definitely wanna buy some food to keep us going. Okay, we have the food to make like a number of rooms, despite the fact that we've got 10 guys, so we're gonna lose 10 food per just single move. But don't you love this? Like, it, like imagine, like, it's sort of like tabs in a way, but with like roguelike mechanics. It makes me so happy. These boxing gloves are kind of cool. Army's getting very big, man. Another sword guy, another punching guy. I really like the shields and I would like more of them. All right, we can move to the room to the right. And I gotta remember what the little arrow button stands for. Oh wow, this is a huge nexus. And there's multiple enemies over here. Oh man, they got four fencers and then one of these like robots. It doesn't look like it, okay. It, it, it shot out, I think, poison gas maybe? Ooh, okay, so it's a level up. This is mutations. Summoned tentacles have a ranged attack, but I, I don't think I have any tentacles. Unless of course, this also gives me the tentacles, right? All ability cooldowns. Fencers have a 30% chance to evade enemy attacks. I kind of like that. I have two free rerolls though. I have two fencers. The biggest thing I think that would help me is if we could get a, a mutator for shields. So let's do a reroll. Splash, trickster's attack, deal 20%. Allows you to go back in time once to a time when all your puny humans were still alive. Oh my gosh, that's like a ank of reincarnation right there. Sword dance. Uh, we're gonna do one more reroll. We're, get, we're game a little bit. Chain lightning. Thunderbolt becomes chain lightning, but I don't think we have any thunderbolts. We don't have any cultists. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take that mutation. Um, Probably want to go open up this food store. So let's fight it. I, I feel like we're sort of getting critical mass right here. Uh, potentially. If we don't lose too many guys here, which doesn't look like it, we're countering fencers with our shield guys pretty well. Definitely going to buy the sweet rolls because I got 11 guys. So right now we can, we can move about six rooms. I'd say that's pretty good. All right, it looks like a random event here. Is it good? Is it bad? Are they gonna ask for more sacrifices? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, look at this. There's a dude on a treadmill that's powering this magical device. And there's a zombie chasing him to keep him running and to essentially power while this scientist works on it. So this is some weird stuff we just stumbled on. Don't you dare, one more push. Ah! Okay, oh, he 
kill the zombie. What's going on here? Isn't it obvious? I was charging the battery. I mean, I guess it is kind of obvious, but that doesn't make it any less weird. Okay, the zombie part of the machine, bro. And there's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. There's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you with gifts. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? To frighten a poor slave into producing power for you? He'll give me 30 tokens. So where did you say the lab was? <laughs> I've marked it on your map. I'll be waiting. Okay. Oh my god, it's like on the other side of everything. We've got our work cut out for us here. Well, let's go up. All right, we're gonna have to fight our way. This should be too, uh, an easy one. Two cultists. We didn't even lose anybody. We can actually make a cultist of ourselves using a dark mantle. We have the money, and we're gonna have to stop at a food shop. There's the boss over here. We have to do this, though. And there's two food shops. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna get one of these just to show you the cultist. Now we have our own cultist, which is awesome. All right, let's go here. We're gonna buy up all available food down here real quick. There we go. Okay. We're good. We're good to go. Man, food. Don't underestimate your need for food, especially when you have a giant army. All right, here we go. We found the event room where we can get the T-Virus. I'm assuming we're gonna have to fight for it, right? Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to fight for it. Okay, nobody die. Oh, they're zombies. That was easy enough. But if we could be showered with gifts that make the enemy turn into zombie, seems like the T-Virus is in the wild already. Glad no one got infected. Oh, <laughs> okay, one of my guys is a zombie. Uh, we can only go four rooms. Dang it. All right, we're gonna have to see what this room is. We're gonna have to fight for it. We may lose some guys, but we won't have to feed them, right? No. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be running out of food well before we get back to the event room. I don't know what happens if we starve. Do we just, like, die? All right, we're gonna have to commit seppuku. You? Give me some food. How much food do we get from sacrificing you? Enough to move one room. <laughs> oh man, that's so sad. But we gotta get the zombie here. We risked it all on this run. Uh, Fencer, I'm sorry, buddy. You gotta go. Football guy, you're going too. All right. Oh my gosh. I got one food left. Oh. But we made it, okay? We, we accomplished the mission. There's been an oops. The T-Virus escaped. And Demon got infected. Infected. Well, that's even better. I can't make him human again, but he's welcome to stay here. The benefits include a daily portion of brains. Oh. <laughs> 30 tokens or secret knowledge. I'm going to take secret knowledge most definitely. You eggheads can now summon buff turrets much faster. Well, I don't got any buff turrets. And we're going to starve before we make it to this next room. Look at this, man. Your humans are hungry, armor and 30, oh, armor and damage is lower. How perfect that we're about to fight the boss of this level. Well, it's everything we got. Level two, I remember this boss, man. He, he crushed me. Oh, he's gonna eat through all of my ranged units. We found out about zombies and check this out. Not only did we learn all that, but now we've unlocked another mode that we can run through and it's the easy mode and we unlocked emergency evac. So even though we lost, we've learned a lot in the process and that is the whole point of this game. So if you keep losing on the same level, it's not about luck. Reconsider your strategy. I feel personally attacked right there. So what did we learn? A ton of stuff. There's also King of the Hill mode. This is the battle simulator that I've been looking for and waiting for for a very long time. This is Despot's game. It's out right now. You can get it for yourself using the link in the video description. Let me know if you guys do want to see more. Pull the trigger on the like button if you enjoyed the video. And thank you again to Despot's game for sponsoring today's video. This has been an incredible experience. So after I sign off, I'm going to go play this for a couple hours. See you guys later.